as far as the eye can go, what you are seeing here is um, Kumawa Ranch, belonging to former President Edgar Chagwalungu's daughter, Tasila Lungu. Now, for you to understand the extent of this ranch, let me give you an opportunity to fly over with us. This is a 615 hectares piece of land given to one individual. Now, that piece of land in Europe, it is the size of a country. The ranch, which was at its infancy of development at the time of Caesia, has 17 fish ponds, two are currently functional, a number of wild animals such as wildebeest, impalas, antelopes, and zebras, as well as 36 cows, goats, and sheep. In the middle of the ranch is an emerging four-bedroom mansion. The ranch is protected by an electric perimeter fence stretching kilometers. Now, the state has seized this property because Madame Tasila Lungu could not justify her source of income to acquire this high-value property um, in the range of nine million. As DEC we received information that there was uh, a person by the name of uh, Mrs. Tasila Lungu Mwansa who owned a property, which property was registered in, his in her name, and this particular property is where we are standing right now. So we instituted investigations to find out whether she had the capacity to purchase such a property. Uh, well, Especially to own it as her own. Now, our investigations indicated after we did a net worth of her, her wealth and everything, it came out clearly that she could not afford to buy this from the sources that she presented to us. So many properties have so far been grabbed from the former first family. Clearly, that money was only evolving around the former first family. I'm confidently saying this because this is a statement of fact as established in the Economic and Financial Crimes Court that Madam Chia Solungu, the daughter of former President Edgar Chagwalungu, failed to establish or justify how she acquired also properties in State Lodge, amounting to over nine million. In her defense, she said her father, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, is the one who gifted her those properties. Similarly, 36-year-old Dali Solungu, who is the son to former President Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, also had his over eight fleet of expensive cars confiscated from him, among other several properties across Zambia. Well, the fight against corruption is not targeted against individuals. Uh, there's a reason why law enforcement agencies follow certain individuals. It is not at all targeted at individuals. And also, you see, the problem that we have in our society is that we are so polarized that we see politics in everything. This is the more reason why President Haga in the Hichlema's government is saying that they will fight without discrimination, past, present, and future corruption cases like the ones that we are seeing, because this is depriving the Zambian child of the much needed education. Water and sanitation could not be achieved because money was only being pocketed by one family, Kalan Mochima. Reporting for Zanis in Sinda, Eastern Zambia.